Hi, this is Sushma Venkatesh from Informatica Global Customer Support. The following video talks about um, object export from developer tool into Power Center. The agenda for the video is um, to go through the object export to Power Center and discuss the various options that you can set in the developer tool in the UI and also discuss export restrictions and guidelines. Object export to developer the mapping, maplets, or reference tables can be exported from um, the developer tool into Power Center. And you have an option to export the objects as uh, XML files or directly to the Power Center um, repository. Um, there's an option called compatibility level. This is by default set to none. Um, you need to set this. If you want to verify if the objects are compatible between the version of the developer, that is your um, MRS, and the version of the Power Center release. So if you want to ma make sure these two are uh, compatible versions, then you need to set the compatibility level. Let's go over a um, demo. I have my uh, repository, model repository service uh, here, and it is uh, version 951 hotfix 2. Um, I have a mapping. I'm going to show exporting a mapping and a maplet object. Uh, we can also go over the reference table uh, export. Um, this mapping here uh, has a transformation which actually contains a reference table. And so when I export the mapping, the reference table would also be exported. Uh, there is an option to do that. Um, right click on the mapping and export. Under the options here, we would choose Power Center. We are uh, exporting this to a Power Center repository. Um, here we would see this is the project from which you are grabbing the object from. So this this uh, um, is the MRS project. Target release refers to the release of the Power Center version where the objects are going to be exported into, and um, uh, before this, I can also show the compatibility level that I was talking about. It is under Edit, Compatibility Level. By default, it is set to None. I have chosen it to Power Center 951 because I'm going to move to uh, Power Center 951 repository. And this is again um, optional, so it is not required to have this set. But if you have this set, it would do a check on the version compatibility. Let's go back to the Export Options export to power center and here under export selected objects to section you can either choose a file with and say browse which would copy or export this x uh, the mapping xml into the um, file system or you can directly export it to power center repository in which case you need to provide the connection information to the repository and um, uh, the repository name um, once you connect to the repository, you get to choose the folder in the Power Center repository where you want to export the objects into. Uh, so in this case, um, I selected the Power Center uh, version as 910, which is why it's failing. Uh, if you see here, I'm trying to do a target release as 910, but uh, I'm choosing the 951 repository, which is incorrect. So I go back and change my target release to 951 uh, and connect. Um, I would like to mention one thing here uh, regarding the target release. Um, so if you are doing an object export from say developer 951 and you're moving into power center 910 or 950, then it is required to have an integration software installed. That you can actually download from our My Support website. If you, this is the link which would uh, give you the uh, integration of developer into power center 91 or 950. This is the software that is, that is required to be installed. Let's go back to the export options. Uh, so I have selected the folder name as in, into general. Um, there is an option also to use control file, the PMREP control file, wherein the control file drives the various options that you want to do during the export. 
like replace, rename, etc. And um, um, by default, the developer export process will only replace objects into Power Center repository. I'll talk about it later. Um, so we have the repository chosen. Now let's talk about these export setting, settings here. Um, convert exported mappings to Power Center maplets. So if you are exporting a mapping, which is my case, you can convert that to be a maplet within Power Center. Um, if not chosen, it would copy or export it as a mapping itself. Convert target maplets. This option applies to maplets only. In the developer tool, if you have a maplet and the maplet has a target instead of an output transformation, then you need to choose this. Otherwise, you would um, fail with an um, uh, error saying that the Power Center repository cannot have a maplet without an output transformation. Um, I can quickly show you that um, uh, error when I export a maplet. And this option applies only to maplets with target object objects. Export reference data is an option you would choose if you want to um, if you want to specify the uh, if you want to export the reference tables. Um, I'm having to okay when we uh, do the export to reference uh, export reference data we need to also provide the reference data location. Let me quickly uh, show this. All right, so here is the reference um, data location. It's kind of um, um, jammed there. Um, so I'm gonna, uh, the reference data location is going to be on uh, the client mission. And after the export process itself, uh, you need to copy the reference data location manually to the file system on the Informatica server. And we click on next, and it would ask you um, to choose the mapping or the maplet or any other dependent um, or any other objects. Sorry, not not necessarily dependent, but any other object in the uh, uh, in the project from within the MRS. This is kind of a summary page where you can select various things, various objects, and click on finish. Once we do that, um, uh, once this is completed, uh, it's a little tricky to get the logs. Uh, in directly in the UI, but it's right here. If you at uh, the bottom right hand corner where it says exporting objects and the green icon there, uh, once the once the export process itself is finished, you should be able to see the logs uh, log by clicking clicking on this icon. Um, let's wait for the export process to be done. Um, I can also show the. Um, file system where, um, let's see, it's not yet created. Um, so it's importing objects into Power Center repository. The import process completed and uh, we see the results by clicking on that uh, icon there. Uh, which uh, basically shows us various um, uh, steps that has happened. So exporting table, the table, the reference table is exported, and the, the mapping itself is exported. Click on OK. Go back here. All right, here it is the content demo, the, the project name where the reference data is actually there. Um, and that is what I'm using for. Let me just show that. Um, in the standardizer, we have strategies, and the reference table is USA underscore states. And that is um, in my project content demo. So that's exactly the folder structure content demo. Dictionaries North America USA United USA underscore states dot DIC. So once this um, uh, export process completes, we need to copy content demo folder 
from here, the entire folder has to be placed within the info content uh, location. By right? that's the default location that um, Informatica looks at is uh, under Informatica server installation location. There is a folder called services, and then um, uh, info content, DQ content uh, location. That is the default. Um, so this completes the export of a mapping uh, from the developer tool. Um, I can quickly show the export of a maplet also into Power Center. Uh, let me show you the mapping. Uh, I mean the maplet, which has a input transformation and a and a target object. So this is exactly what I uh, wanted to show. Uh, exporting this without the option um, convert target maplets set would um, the Informatica. Um, there would be a error since uh, the reason is uh, from Power Center. The Power Center uh, expects <clears throat> maplets to have an output transformation. Now let's not select that and see what happens. Um, all right, here is the error that um, the maplet uh, cannot be converted. Uh, or uh, export it to Power Center, um, and we explicitly say set the option to convert targets and maplets to output transformations, which means um, that uh, this is the option that uh, needs to be chosen when you have a maplet with a target um, object. All right, let's um, go back to our. Uh, um, talk here about uh, the export restrictions. Um, so when you're exporting from the developer uh, MRS to Power Center, objects with um, long names which have more than 80 characters cannot be exported. And there are also some restrictions due to the way um, Power Center repository uh, is designed versus um, the model repository service, which is more recent. Uh, we have certain restrictions which you need to be aware of, um, like having the data transform custom data transformation, joiner with certain conditions and lookup, and SAP source and um, maplets with unconnected lookups and maplets that concatenate ports, etc. All these are um, documented as part of our developer user guide. Um, some guidelines, the objects. Um, from when, when exported from the developer tool is by default always replaced. So please make sure uh, the objects have unique names unless you want them to be replaced. Um, and the code pages between the developer tool and the Power Center repository should be compatible. And the developer, developer uses high precision mode by default, and Power Center has high precision dis disabled by default. So if you are running mappings um, in developer, you might expect you might see different results um, in Power Center. So you need to be aware of this um, and make adjustments accordingly, um, either in the MRS or in Power Center. And the reference data location is the reference data is exported to the local um, client box. Hence, there is a requirement for your, the users to manually copy them to the um, Informatica server location when the same mapping should, if you want, when you run the same uh, mapping from Power Center, Power Center would expect these files to be on the file system on Power Center side. Um, and also the export process will fail um, if the code pages are not compatible. We spoke about that. Thank you. We would love to hear from you on any um, um, uh, suggestions. Um, thank you.